What's up, y'all? We in front of BB Kings. We played uh, our first Man vs. Machine show here yesterday. We got a lot of love and a lot of respect from a lot of people. A lot of hip hop cats around here. They really liked it. And uh, we hope to come back soon, man. The pressure was on, man, because it was like the first official show we did together. Like, So, performing here is like a big honor because we're from Europe and we look up to the New York hip hop scene, you know, so that was like a real big deal for us to be represented over here. Like, with being with legends on stage felt like an honor, you know, so we're really honored to be here. We're really glad that everybody, everything went good, that we did our thing, we got love from the crowd, so it's like the mission is accomplished. Alright? Mission is accomplished. True story. I was there, that she was hot, son. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> you want someone to do boxing yesterday? Oh shit, I never, never seen before, baby. It's a wrap. <laughs> that's how it is. You see. All right, that's what's up. Thank you, man. All right. I got a video, baby. If you don't trust them, I got a video right here. Check this out. Only in New York. Only in New York, baby. Only in New York. You know, thanks for technology. <laughs> My homeboy right here. Here we go. Yeah, man. Here we go. Oh shit! Here we go. Here we go. As you. Here we go. As you beatboxing. See that? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That shit, yo. Doctor J don't see on that shit, yo. <laughs> That's what's up. That's how it is. That's hip hop. All right, my man. All right, thanks a lot, baby. Appreciate you, dude. Good looking. All right, yo. Like y'all was with Raekwon last night, right? Tell me how did that feel to be with one of the original Wu Tang? Raekwon's performance was great, to be honest. It's incredible. Yeah. No, to, to be like, yeah. Also backstage to be with a, a legend like him. There were a lot of legends, there were iconic people for us, like we've been, we've been listening to those records since we were 10 years old and stuff like that. And to see him perform on stage in such fire and tearing the roof down, and to see old dirty bastard, his son, coming on stage. And he looked just him. like his daddy. It's incredible. Yeah. So for us it was like, oh my god, we're in hip hop mecca up in here. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. it was really dope. So what did Raekwon think about the show? Yeah, it was good, it was good. It was really good actually. Like, uh, to be honest, I've seen Wu-Tang perform a few times up in Belgium. Okay. And to be honest, I was, a few times I was disappointed. Okay. So okay. I was like, I was like... You have to know, Belgium is next to Holland. So they have like the sickest weed over there. <laughs> so those guys probably smoked a lot. And that's why. Probably wasn't that good. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love the honesty. Like that's no, what's but, up. But this is hip hop. I'm like, it wasn't horrible, but I expected more because the, the who is like, yeah, man, they have to come with fire. They have to, and like, they didn't do a proper sound check, you know, and the, the sound wasn't that good and stuff. How we so, saw Raekwon yesterday, we never saw Wu Tang Clan like that. Mm, you know, we, mm, saw, we saw, we saw Method Man and Red Man. That those, was sick. That these was guys, they ripped it off. What Red Man and, and Method, Method Man, Man did it? They yeah. killed it. Wow! I did a support act for them. Wow! Like two years ago, I did like a support act for Method Man and Redman in Belgium, and they they got a, like a next level hip hop show. They're like bringing entertainment to the show. Mm. Like uh, they, they have a real really show. Great. Man, they got like that's a sick show. To be honest, that's like one of the best hip hop shows I've ever seen. Wow! Not like the best, but one of the best. Really. Wow! Method Man and Redman, they crazy. Wow. Now, who else gives a good show like that? Like Method Man and Redman. So I saw Buster Rhymes once oh. in Holland. Mm -hmm. that was incredible. incredible. Yeah, His show is crazy. Oh. Yeah. He went on, I think, 20 minutes. And he was like, everybody should put their hands up. If everybody's hands not up, I'm not starting. So he didn't start. He delayed the show for 20 minutes until everybody was up. And out of their seats, there was one person who wouldn't stand up. Then he saw he was in a wheelchair. 
Ah. Uh. Oh, my bad, son. The body popped off and you got lifted from the floor into a mosh pit like, whoa. Wow. When the show stopped, that's when you got down. That was really? Buster Rhymes, he tore it up. He was back in Holland in Amsterdam. He killed it. It was a few years ago. I think five years ago. Something like that. Wow. It's crazy. Shut it down. Busta is mad life. Yeah, that's like crazy. that's like one of the best I've seen, I think. Mm, for a yeah. stage show? The stage crazy. show is crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Mm. That's like, what's up. That's what's up. He, he doesn't need like backing tracks or choruses on the beats, you know. He just takes the beats and raps on them, you know. Because like a lot of people, they perform like playback or have like the choruses on the beat. But right, right. He Busta, does it all. Straight, straight mm. from beginning to the end. Like, Break your neck, for example, he will do it like he he will try he will try he will do it like three times just to prove that he can do it. You know, he's gonna do like the first eight bars, then he will go in do the 16 bars, then he will do the song just wow. to show this is not fake. I can do it anytime, any day. I will perform Break Your Neck, do the, the double time rapping. You know, wow! Just, yeah, it's crazy. just to let y'all know, hip hop is alive I don't know if and well. He, he I don't know if he does that in New York or in the US, but in, but in Belgium he's gonna do like break your neck. He's gonna restart three times just to prove like, I don't need no backing tracks, I'm gonna do it raw, you know, I can mm. do it. I can rap. Real talent. Yeah. yeah. Real talent. Alright, that's what's up. So Buster Rhymes, Method Man, and Red Man. Who else? Who's the third? Uh, who did I see? Uh, I've seen a lot of guys. But, a lot of, to be honest, a lot of hip hop concerts I went to, they were, they weren't that nice. But which one? Uh, I saw the beatbox and I saw Ross L and oh, JS1. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Crazy. They, they bring the heat. Man. Mix master Mike. Mm. Just on on decks. Mix master Mike on decks and tears it up too. We mm. saw a lot of dope things, but then some things that you really expect a lot from, then you go go to check out. It's not that it's disappointing. Maybe, maybe it's because your expectancies were just too high. Huh? Or maybe they just got lazy. Yeah, but who are we? Who are we to say? Well, See, you know who you are? You are hip hop in Europe. So you can say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's one thing about hip hop. You get somebody can call you out on the carpet. If you ain't doing your job, you get called out. Like you said over here. If y'all didn't do good on stage, y'all got booed. Right or wrong? Y'all did your thing and y'all got crazy love, right? Yeah, man. So if they get on stage and they don't do their thing, they should get fucking booed. Just that simple. The crowd in, in Europe, they're they're actually they're they're already satisfied. A lot of people are already satisfied when they hear one hit by that artist. So they're like, okay, okay I saw his hit live right. on stage. I'm I'm glad, you know. But I'm over good. here, That's the problem. people, they're, I think they're more criti like critical, like uh, critiques, you know. The, the level is higher, they, they expect more from the artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So We expect a lot more because they get paid a lot of money, so they got to do more than just stand up and go, blah, 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 peace. That's not it. That's not yeah, it. You got to bring a show. Man. You got to bring a show. Like, y'all put on a show. I loved your show. All right, now, question. All right, you're on stage, right? You do your set. You're about to finish, right? Was it unbelievably nervous to see if the crowd was going to applaud? Like, how did you feel? Because right before you start, it's like the most nervous, and right before you finish, is the most nervous. Because you're going to go, am I going to get booed off the stage? So how did it feel? It was like, actually, from like most most of the times, like the beginning is the hardest, you know? And once you're you're, you're, you're on the roll, it's, you're, you're good, you know? You're good? Yeah. Okay. And then you, you feel the love from the crowd and then you get more comfortable and you, you get into it, you know, so... But I wasn't sure, like, how the people was going to react because being us from Europe, coming to New York and, like, bring, like, classic hip-hops and, like, classic hip-hop tracks, maybe we were thinking maybe they're not going to like it because, like, who the fuck are we coming from Europe, like, Scratching with records from over here and stuff. I don't know like I don't know how the people would react so we that came, was like, we came here with the thought We're, we're two white guys <laughs> That's what, what was in our mind. Wait, wait, two white guys from Europe. Two white yeah. guys from Europe coming to BB Kings and, and doing a turntablism and a human beatbox showcase Which is actually The foundation. Not for white guys. <laughs> 
how they portray it. And, um, <laughs> but we came here and it was like, hey, we were nervous, but we did our thing on stage. We, we ended with like the tribute part. Like, so uh, we ended our show at BB King's with, with a small tribute part, uh, a small part that we did for Man vs. Machine, like where we do a tribute to all of our favorite artists who have passed away. And we did like uh, Nate Dogg, uh, Notorious B.I.G., Old Dirty Bastard, Big L, and Guru. We couldn't do everybody because we didn't have enough time. So we tried to put everybody in. And then when we when we stopped, the ending is with full clip, the gang star joined. So it was like a really hyped up moment. The beat goes, everybody is in the cadence of the beat. And then we cut it off like around eight bars with an explosion like, and yeah, what's up? This was man versus machine. And people were like screaming wild loud. We couldn't I couldn't hear myself through the monitors. So it was really, really dope. We got respected and I loved it, man. That's what's up. That's what's up. It was like I think actually it was like one of the nicest experiences we have had through our careers. Like we have rocked for more people. It wasn't like it was like it wasn't like five thousand people in there or something. But the love we got, the, the fact that we we're in New York representing in the like the hometown of hip hop, that made it special for us. So that was like a really crazy moment. Like and yeah, we're satisfied, man. Definitely. That's high. That's yeah. high. Hip hopworld.com. <laughs> Big, big, big L, rest in peace.